Today we're going to go over how easy it is to lay down some grass sod in your front yard or backyard. Now this area is a pretty big area and the sod you're looking at here costs a little over six hundred dollars. This is a three-man crew we have today and as you can see the ground is already prepared and been fertilized. You have to fertilize the, the dirt before you lay the sod down and you want to make sure you lay the sod down dry. You don't want to you do not want to water it until it's all down because it's easier to work with when it's dry. This is a do-it-yourself project and as you can see the the workers are throwing the sod down. You don't have to uh, be too delicate with it. It's tough. You can just um, throw it down. It's not you're not going to hurt it. Now as the two workers are throwing the sod down we have another worker who is actually putting the sod in place, tightening, tightening them. And like I said, this area right here is about um, six. The sod needed to cover this area will cost a little over six hundred, and then another four hundred for the labor. So you, this is this little job you see here. It's about a thousand dollar job. That's not counting the sprinkler systems, of course. And okay, like we said, you to prepare the ground, you have to make sure you fertilize underneath the sod. And as you see here, you have to stagger the line, the joints. You have to put these in like you would build a, a brick wall. I'll show you here. Um, that's like you're building a brick wall. You don't want any vertical lines together. You have to stagger it. So I'll show you here in a second how that works. You see, if you look, I'll give you a close up. You see right here, see how that line comes down and it meets the other one. You don't, you don't want any vertical lines coming together. So just like building the brick wall, it's very simple. And uh, make sure they're tight. Put them together. And what, why we're showing you this video? Because the job is a lot easier if you have a helper throwing the sod down, and then you have another guy making them tight like this this guy here is making them tight and and you see if you have to cut to go around any sprinklers he's going to he's showing you how to cut very simple if you have to cut to go around any sprinklers or any cement uh, edging one thing you will notice about this job is that uh, all the weeds have been removed thoroughly. That, that's pretty important. If you look right there, get, getting out all the weeds before you lay the sod down, that's pretty important. And um, you don't want to put down too much fertilizer. Uh, you just want to put down the exact amount of fertilizer before you put the sod down. And uh, we have three men working on this job, but it's easy, very easy. You could have two men working on this job. Uh, you could have one guy drop in the sod, the other person put them in place. Very, uh, very easily could be done that way. Uh, a crew of three just makes it go faster, makes the job go faster. And uh, the the final stage is when we get these all set in place and they're all tight, and we got them all where we need them. The final step is to we're going to have to keep it nice and moist. Have to water it at least two or three times a day and this is going to go for at least a month or two and that's the most important part once you get it in you're going to be watering it probably if you if if all possible water it three times a day for at least five to seven minutes each watering and you do that for at least a month and maybe even two if you really want to be safe and uh the closer you get to two months, you don't have to water it three times. You can maybe water it uh, once or twice after a couple months. But as you can guess, watering is very, very important if you want it to survive, especially if you live in the really hot climates like this is. So uh, good luck laying down your sod. Good luck and make sure you stagger, stagger your joints and make sure you get your sod pieces in there tight and this is a do-it-yourself job you can do it on a weekend a weekend project good luck